Every morning aboard Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni around 0630, a few non-commissioned officers don their uniform and prepare to stand headquarters and headquarters squadrons barracks duty. For 24 hours, these NCOs sit at this desk, waiting, watching, logging. Boredom really comes in uh, many, many styles, I guess you could say. It starts really from tapping on the desk to reading logs in the logbook and then reading the barracks orders. You stand up, you know, you, you're like, hey, I'm going to go tour. You tend to just find ways to keep yourself busy, I guess you could say. Looking through the fog of boredom is the reality for these duty NCOs that they exist for that one moment, no matter how rare, that their presence could make a positive difference during a crisis. A lot of people think that the duty just sits there, does nothing, and really is just a waste of time. You don't realize there's those, there's those moments that duty is actually needed. I work with ARF and uh, they're in crash crew, you know, there's maybe one crash a year, but yet whenever that one crash happens, you've got to be there for it, and it's the same way in duty. The responsibility of a duty NCO as the command's first line of defense against potential problems is not something that should be taken lightly. Duty, don't look at it as a sentence. You're making a difference in the barracks, whether you think so or not. When that one thing happens and you stop it, that's when you know that you're there for a reason. You're not just sitting there just lollygagging, waiting for 0730 to come. So. Never think that you're just, you know, you're not a part of anything. You're actually helping stopping problems in the barracks. Sure, these Marines aren't storming a beachhead or clearing a building. They're currently performing one of the most important duties of an NCO, protecting their own. Reporting from Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni, I'm Marine Sergeant Jonathan House.